you guys remember when you were little kids? You know, if you're my age, if you're in your 30s, even if you're 20s, remember being a little kid and just watching Disney movies and having a great time? Well, apparently Disney, what they hate is not just that, that they hate making good movies. They also hate making money. Now, if you look at what's happened over uh, with Disney over the past, we'll say the last few years, it's been getting worse over the last few years. And you see all these woke ideologies in movies. And personally, I don't care if The Little Mermaid's white, black, Asian. I don't really give a shit. But a lot of people are just... You know, they're seeing something. I don't think they're saying it in a racist way. I just think they're saying it in a way where, you know, they just want to watch a remake of the same movie that they saw when they were a little kid. It's a nostalgia thing. And the oh, let's be honest, the only reason that Disney is even changing these color uh, characters, race or whatever they're doing, or gender or whatever, is because they want to force this woke ideology on kids. That's why people are pissed off. And that's why they lost $7 billion during COVID. Big companies didn't lose anything because of COVID. They actually they actually made more money. So the pandemic should have actually made Disney more money because people were staying home watching movies. They lost $7 billion. Well, they lost $100 million when they made the movie Lightyear. Remakes of old movies have been flops. Snow White, Little Mermaid, Wish, etc., etc., etc. Disney lost, or Disney Plus lost 18 million subscribers. 2023 was the worst year for the Marvel Comics universe ever. And Disney is now on track to lose $750 million across 13 films that they made. You can say what you want. Well, it doesn't bother me that they've changed the character. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't really bother me either. But I'm explaining to you why it bothers some people, and it's mostly a nostalgia reason. Also, by the way, if you want to have this ideology where it's, oh, it's okay if they change the race. Is it okay if Ryan Gosling played Muhammad Ali in a movie? Would people be upset if the Black Panther was Korean? I have a feeling they would be, even though they're the people who don't actually care if they change races in movies or not. So I think there's a little bit of hypocrisy there as well. I don't think they'll ever do that because that's just like the like opposite woke ideology, and their woke ideologies are already costing them enough money as it is. But you're seeing people just, oh, this is what you're going to do, we're not going to watch it, and you're going to lose money, and then eventually they're going to either change or they're going to go broke. You know, there, there's an old saying that's been going around the past few years, get woke, go broke. And that's what Disney's doing. It's pretty hard. Like when you have a pandemic and everyone's locked inside their house, there's not much to do except watch things on YouTube or watch movies, watch TV. Disney would be a very popular option. And you still messed it up. You had people literally staring at a TV and they would stare at HBO, YouTube, TikTok, Anything but Disney. Considering how popular Disney has been my whole life. And just look what they're doing. They're just, it's not about the, the race or the color of a character that they're changing it. Oh, these people don't like the Black Little Mermaid because they're racist. No, they just don't understand why you're doing it. There's no reason to do it other than to push some woke ideology. They just want to watch their movie, the remake of the movie that they enjoyed as a kid with their kids for nostalgic reasons. It's, it's really that simple. You, when you remake a movie, remake the damn movie. Stop overthinking it. Stop trying to push what you think onto other people. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. And again, like I said, if, if the Black Panther was Korean, you'd see the same people who have no problem with it right now all of a sudden have a big problem with it. So, and I don't know what, what's going on with Disney. Surely they're going to fire some CEOs or some executives or some marketing directors, someone. Or probably a lot of people. And then, you know, if they ever get back to just making kids' movies for kids without any gender or race ideologies in it, they'll probably start making a lot of money again. But until then, they're going to flop, and they deserve to flop. Get woke, go broke.